What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Big Al Kicks, a.k.a. the You Wild General, and we're back in the building with another sneaker review. And yo, we got a certified classic. You see the Aku sweatshirt that I have on that has the animated Kobe Bryant doing the famous reverse dunk in that, uh, his first 30-point game. And I'm not quite sure what shoes he has on, but I guess they didn't want to get sued, so... They did the best that they could, but you see the project buildings, the kids, real good sweatshirt, but enough talking about that. You've seen the shoes on the thumbnail already, and I got to give it to you guys. Boom! Yes, sir. The Adidas Crazy 8 Black and White. Now, before we get into this review, if you are new here, this channel covers sneaker vlogs, sneaker reviews, anything sneaker related. Now, if that is your thing, if possible, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to click the bell to turn the post notifications on so you don't miss a beat. Back to the sneaker. We already see it. Let's go ahead and read the box. And the box reads Crazy 8, footwear white, core black, core purple in my size, a size 10, and these do retail for $140. Now they are on sale now on the Adidas website. You can pick these up for around $100, $105. The box is nothing special, just a regular black box with the Adidas equipment logo. You have a small white one on the corner, on each corner, and a message about recycling and stuff on the back. But enough talk about that. We don't need the box anymore. Now, earlier that year, which is last year, we got the core black version first. I did drop a video on this, so I will drop a pop-up so you can check that out if you haven't already. And a lot of people were upset about the color. They was hoping it was gonna be a darker black, but the materials that they did use on these are very, very premium. And I did like that about it. They're, you know, you can go hooping this right now. I've worn it a few times. It feels good, and it actually broke in pretty good. So kudos to Adidas for that. But today it's all about these, man. Again, this colorway dropped in 1997. Well, the shoe itself dropped in 1997, correction. But this shoe is most well known for Kobe Bryant's first 30-point game against the Dallas Mavericks in 1997 where he did the feigned reverse dunk that you see on the photos and the pictures. These is what he had on. So let's go ahead and talk about them. The shoe consists of an all white upper on the whole shoe. On the lateral and medial sides, you can see the patent leather stripes. Going down on the midsole on the lateral side, you can see some more of the patent leather right here going almost to the toe of the shoe. On the rear, you see the pull tab, Adidas equipment logo in purple and gold, some more patent leather right here, and a big Adidas equipment logo. On the outsole, which is one of my favorite parts, you can see that nice core purple, well core purple. <laughs> this little weird torsion plate, which I think should be purple and gold, but it's blue and gold, and it might always have been like that, so if you're an OG and you can remember that, please tap in, man. Get in the comments. Let us know if this is how it's always been. Honestly, in my opinion, it does not matter because you're going to be walking on top of it anyway. <laughs> but some more herringbone traction on the heel. Also, in my opinion, this shoe is very, very similar to the Air Jordan 13. Again, that's a whole nother story. <laughs> Moving along to the front of the shoe, you see the Adidas equipment logo in white. Nice, tough leather toe cap right there. Neoprene tongue. And instead of the number eight, you have the feature wear logo, which I think they could have put the number eight, but I guess it was too lakery and they didn't want to get sued. So Adidas, we understand. <laughs> Fat white laces, nice dope hidden lace system going up the side, man. You don't see that type of innovation put into sneakers like that anymore. Big crazy Adidas equipment logo at the top. 
you know, I love that about back in the days. It was a, not, a lot of nice logos. You saw the branding everywhere. Um, overall, just a dope, dope sneaker. Um, another small details. You see the Adidas equipment logo right here at the top, and a nice one that's stitched into the leather on the medial side. And you have these little straps in the back, this little panels to kind of go to the front. I guess you could take these up one more level, but that's already laced. But yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Get in those comments. Let me know if you're feeling the 30 point, first 30 point games or not, man. Show Kobe Adidas. <laughs> I know I say this a lot, but show Kobe Adidas some love. But Sneakers like this are court legends, man. We hoop in the KB8, Crazy 8, whatever you want to call it. But that's it, man. Guys, get in those comments. Let me know in the comments below if you are feeling these guys. But enough talking about it. <laughs> Y'all know what we do around this time. Kicks get rocked every day around here, B. Come on, man. Let's put these 30-point Adidas Kobe's on feet, and let's take these bad boys to the streets. Okay, guys, on feet time. All right, you see I got the Sunshines on feet. Did a video on these two. You know, you can check out the video on these anytime you get a chance. But today, it's about these right here. <laughs> So far, true to size is good, man. It's a slight difference between the leather pairs and the real soft, high quality new buck pair. A lot of people saying the shoe fits tight, but I'm saying you just have to break them in, man. Break these bad boys in. And these feel good on feet. Mm. Definitely go true to size. These do look real bulky, but they feel good. And I know these will be a beast on court. The wide footers, you may have to size up, but for me, True to size feels wonderful. All right, guys, this is another alternate view. And again, like I said before, I'm definitely feeling these. So drop your opinions in the comments, man. Let us know, man. Let your peers, let us all know your thoughts and feelings on these. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, and that is right, ladies and gents. Bang that notification bell, turn those post notifications on so you don't miss a beat. You know the motto I'm wild, you wild, we all wild, baby. Stay fly, stay fresh, <laughs> most importantly, stay safe. It's your boy, Big Al Kicks, signing on out of here. Peace.